Hi, this is Michael Grant from Applied CAX and Sherpa Design. This is a support video I created for a specific NX CAM solution and we're sharing it now so other people can hopefully make use of our resources. We hope you find it useful too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to add a um, Z level here for the outside. Um, the first thing we did was add stock on the outside so it sees material. So we added 15 to every offset. So that's here, here, here. I guess uh, we didn't necessarily have to do that one, but we did. Um, so that'll allow the Z level to see material. After we did that, um, these all went red. We know that we didn't affect any of them. So we right-clicked them and did um, approve. Mine are still approved. And then we're going to add a Z-level. So we add it to the longer tool. Insert operation. Under the mill contour, the Z-level is the second to last. Make sure we have the right settings here. Then we're going to pick the faces on the outside with our cut area. And if I just generate that to kind of see what it's doing, it's just hitting the faces that we chose. Um, before I move on, I'm going to set the feeds and speeds from our library by hitting the set machining data. So now that affected my step down. The other thing I'm going to turn on is the uh, cut, continue cutting below tool contact. There's also extend edges if you want to extend at the edge. And so now that's continuing that wall down. Um, and then we talked about with cut levels, if you had a chamfer at the top, you could add a cut level. And we could pretend this is our chamfer on the outside. And now it adds another level and we could change the step down to whatever we want. So if we had a chamfer here it would finish that real nice. And then, um, so that was uh, those and then on this part I don't have a good example but on this part, what I wanted to show, I think it was this, which one was it, this one? Yeah, so on this Z level here, I'm going to add this, the wall, the faces on this uh, core. And because it was cutting over here, the cut levels are probably set to that area. So I'm going to check my cut levels. One way to make sure I get that area I picked is just to go back to automatic. And it knows because of my selection to hit the, those walls. And just to show, whoops, that might be a little. Something like that. Um, now if I generate that. It's going to treat them. Now what? Let's look at that again. Oh, it's because it's at the bottom. No material to remove. What? What is the deal? Ball. Oh, it's a ball. Let's change that. It won't fit it there. Ball. Ball. Bowl. Uh, let's use that one. I think it was drag that down. So it treats them as separate faces and does an entry and retract on each one. But what I can do to join those is click the merge distance and set it to something larger than the gap. I'm just guessing 30 millimeters. Nine, oh, the tool fits in between. <laughs> Let me. Uh, so that if your tool fits in between it's going to merge it like that but I'm going to pick we had a larger tool wow that's a little big and what's the radius on it well let's just edit this tool because we're just doing an example so let's say it's uh, I don't know, 35 
Whoa. What? Oh, we're in. I thought this was. Nintendo. Huh. That doesn't seem like. That must be a really small part. Okay, so something like that, maybe. So now that it can't fit in between if I regenerate that. It's going to look like that, but it's going to be uh, still have an entry and retract. So the next thing you can do, so that was merge distance to treat them as one feature under cutting parameters um, and connections. You have control of what it does between levels. Right now it's on transfer. You have direct on part that does a straight line move down. Ramp on part that ramps all on one face. Or stagger that varies the ramp all the way around the part. And then you can set your ramp angle. I'm usually around 5 degrees or so. And so now it'll enter. Uh, reset my center point so if you have a part rotating weird you can right click in the background set rotation and click something on your part and so now when I use my mouse it's rotating so there's the stagger ramp so a couple of good uses for Z level I usually do a lot of cores and cavities with that and so I'm going to hit stop 